at Homedale High School, my period three class, and we're really excited to, to bring to you uh, today the ramen. Uh, can we stay sideways? I think it looks a little bit better. Uh, we have a Hold chili, chili mazi ramen. It wants to rotate. All right, you're good. You're good? All right. So uh, you have a chili mazi ramen, and mazi ramen is a dried ramen. Uh, we will have a little bit of sauce with it, but it's not going to be sitting in a broth like a traditional uh, style ramen, like a tonkatsu or shoyu uh, ramen. Uh, the noodles we have today, we had on our video, uh, you'll see, is the rye noodle, and that's mixed with whole wheat, whole wheat flour, um, bread flour, baking soda, salt, and, and some water. Um, in our bowls, we have a shoyu tare, and the shoyu tare is basically, uh, we saute ginger and onion. Some classes actually did garlic. And we put uh, soy sauce and chicken stock, and that was left to marinate for a couple of days. Uh, lastly, but not least, we have an eggplant sofrito. And our eggplant sofrito uh, was sauteed onions. That was cooked for about an hour. Uh, we then cooked eggplant down for about an hour with some tomatoes, and we finished that with some chipotle peppers and salt and pepper. So uh, we're going to be assembling our ramen. Uh, we're going to do one portion at a time. And last but not least, we have our chicken katsu. Uh, the chicken katsu is a boneless uh, chicken breast, uh, panko breadcrumbs, and just been pan fried. First thing we want to do is we want to get our water going. And you know, the water can be a little too high. Uh, we don't want the outside of the ramen to cook. We're going to take one portion of the ramen and we're going to drop that down into our water and make sure we move that around. Uh, we're going to use our chopsticks to make sure uh, the ramen's not sticking together. And we have plenty of room uh, to let that cook. Right, and we will get a, a quick recovery um, from our water. All right, uh, being these are fresh noodles, uh, taking only about you know 30 seconds to 45 seconds, you'll see we're getting a quick recovery. And I'm going to turn my that boil down a little bit. One, I don't want it to boil too hard. And secondly, we have a lot of starches that are in the water uh, that could uh, cause it to overflow. All right, so we're very close uh, to being done here. I think we're about 45 seconds in. Taste one. This is our first one of the morning. Uh, so we can go ahead and see um, how they're doing. And about 10 seconds. Looking really great. All right. Next important part is that when we, we get our ramen, right, we want to shake it. We want to shake off any excess water, make sure we're not having any of that residual water ending up in watering down our show you tar. Okay? I'm going to go ahead and just turn this off for a moment while we're assembling. All right, we're going to go into the bowl, and as we go into the bowl, we're going to grab some of that shoyu tar, pick it up in the air, and just kind of align the ramen and lay that right on top. Secondly, we're going to grab our eggplant sofrito, and we're going to go with a nice portion of the sofrito, and we even have a little bit of the oil that we're going to drizzle around uh, right on top of that. Okay. Next up, we're going to go to our chicken katsu. And we're going to be cutting that on a bias, okay. cutting our chicken. And then we're going to be placing that alongside the Mazimam Ramen. And there you have the chili eggplant sofrito, Mazimam Ramen, chicken katsu. Uh, we can serve that with our chopsticks. And we are ready to go. Thank you so much for another edition of Big Chef Johnny Schwab, and uh, we'll see you next time.